you know, there were times where he spent a number of uh, months, if not uh, an extended time, in bed. The Beach Boys, uh, although I know uh, it, your musical talents are limited, limited, limited to a, a short-lived electric guitar yes. uh, career back in the day, uh, your uncle Mike is lead singer of the Beach Boys. Uh, how about the best time you ever had around the group? Honestly, the loves... Uh, you know, our family, we've always done Christmas really big. The Beast Boys have an amazing Christmas album, but even more so just spending time in him, with him uh, in Lake Tahoe around uh, the family, around the extended family, and just there was one time, I think when I was 13 years old, I was in seventh grade where I got to go down there. I think the last time I was down there for Christmas, and they did it really, really big, and it was a special time. So that away from uh, the Beach Boys, uh, you know, performing, that would be the best time. And then actually seeing them perform was their 50th anniversary at the Hollywood Bowl. It's just special because they're from there, you know, right, right down the street in, in, in Hawthorne and, and grew up in Southern California and Los Angeles and then became, you know, one of the best, you know, American, if not one of the best bands of all times and, you know, have one of the top I guess five even albums and records of all time in, in Pet Sounds. After your dad retired from the NBA in 1975, he was hired to move in with the Beach Boys, yep. Brian Wilson. Yep. Uh, what has he told you about what his responsibilities entailed? Uh, you know, Brian had uh, gone through his own series of, of um, you know, maybe you know, likely wasn't all his fault, but addiction and, uh, you know, there were times where he spent a number of uh, months, if not, uh, an extended time in bed, and I think my dad just more than anything wanted to protect Brian. Um, you know, a true musical genius. Not only did he want to protect that, but he wanted to protect Brian as the person because, I mean, that's, that's what you do when you're family. But he had, you know, others um, on the outside that weren't looking out for his best interests. Really? My dad really tried to intervene. Um, so what's he said about that? Uh, that day was just a really dark period because, uh, you know, like I said, Brian was such a unbelievable artist and a person that my dad wanted to look out for. Like, he'd take him out to play basketball. My dad, like I mentioned, was a great photographer. He used to have pictures of all of them playing basketball, going to the YMCA, getting Brian out sweating, trying to get him to lose weight, trying to get uh, really healthy and just get him out, I think, into the open because, you know, when you you know, lock yourself in a room or you're living in the shadows, that can really affect your, not only your physical, because, you know, you could see him, you know, with the weight gain and, you know, kind of ballooning up and not looking healthy, but also just from the mental aspect of things, I think Brian really dealt with a lot. Whether it was what your dad told you about the Beach Boys or the fun your dad would have in the off season, what was it about what he told you on those fronts that kind of resonated with you when it came to your career and what to do and not to do? There's so much to be learned in failure and in regret and in that um, component in life, not just with, with my father, but with with Brian, who was, I mean, regarded truly in, in rock and roll and in music and in that whole, f you know, era as a true genius. You know, without Brian, without, you know, my uncle, without, you know, the Wilsons, they're, they're you know, like it likely wouldn't be, you know, a Sgt. Pepper's in, in that album from the Beatles. So I learned, you know, a lot just being being around success from my family, being, you know, seeing some struggles with my family. There's just so much to, to be learned. I think I've, I've, I've taken that and tried to adapt that into my career. But early on, it had to, it wasn't something that was just given to me. I had to learn it my, myself as well.